update after having my bike for about two months. Um, I've had to have um, a little unit put on to the exhaust valve um, because it was coming up with an F1 light on the dash. So it was coming up with a, an F1 light up here, uh, which is red. Oh, sorry, no lights here. That lit up red. So when you have an aftermarket exhaust, um, it throws like an error code, so you have to get like a little um, bypass um, like plug-in unit that goes under the seat to, um, to trick the system to turn that light off. Uh, otherwise, to buy the um, exhaust valve flaps down there, it's like about 500 quid from Suzuki. So that's like um, a manufacturer fault that all bikes seem to have with the GSRs. Um, apart from that, I had to replace the battery as well. So I had like an aftermarket cheap battery when I bought the bike. I only found out about recently, so it wasn't putting out enough amps to start the bike. So I just had up a new battery fitted, and uh, now it's all good. It came with a, a nitro cheap battery which was uh, okay for when I first got it but my bike was sitting um, for like a month in a garage and um, not put on a optimizer charger so when I come to start it it was flat um, so anyway so I bought um, from Argos this uh, uh, battery charger and maintainer um, and basically I plugged in my battery to charge it for like eight hours um, and thought it would be okay but um, the battery um, did start the bike, but then when I went to the petrol station, um, turned the power ignition off and then turned it back on again, I tried to start it and it wouldn't start it. It wouldn't have enough um, like, um, like amps to crank the starter over. So um, I bought this uh, battery charger maintainer, but it didn't seem to charge like the nitro battery for some reason. Um, anyway, so but on this uh, maintainer charger, it's got like this little um, uh, bullet connectors that plugs into either the crocodile clip style uh, terminals or also um, you've, got, you've got this um, section that can be replaced with like a trickle charger um, terminals that fits the battery permanently so all you need to do then is go to the bike lift the seat up um, and plug this part of the charger into the maintainer under the seat and then basically um, on here you've got 12 volts, 6, six volts, so it'd be 12 volts. So basically you just scroll through with this um, um, play sort of start function here. Um, then you press the circle and that starts to charge it. And then on here it'll say power, um, if there's a fault. Um, if you put the terminals the wrong way, and this is charging and then full. And then what it was saying when I plugged it into the uh, cheap nitro battery, it was saying I'm um, charging for about 30 seconds then it was saying full and I knew that either it wasn't full or there's a problem with the battery um, so yeah anyway I changed the battery for a totally different brand a recommended one um, from my local bike shop and it's been totally fine ever since so the moral of the story is don't buy a cheap battery um, because in winter time when um, it's harder for the bike to start you'll just have problems so I had to like jump start the bike by running, putting the bike into second, um, holding the clutch in, jumping on the bike, releasing the clutch, and then that cranks the bike over. So obviously you don't want to be doing that. So yeah. So um, at the moment I don't actually need this maintainer charger because I've got a brand new battery, but obviously um, it's handy to have. So yeah, I'll just hold on to this and then if I'm leaving the bike, like going on holiday, then I'll sort of plug the bike in uh, to the trickle trickle charger under the seat to keep it um, 100%. So there you go.